Okay. Shout out to Cyrenix for the camo wrap. Oh my gosh. We'll get into that. We will also get in to this. Super stoked. Can't believe how stoked I am. You don't even know. I don't even know. We all don't know. Throw that on the ground. I'm so excited. Okay. First of all, let's go over the main product here. This enables you to use your real rifle for use with training ammunition. Just a regular firing pin, regular cotter pin, regular ejector, regular extractor, but the bolt itself it does not actually uh, lock in place. So there, there's no gas system it's utilizing. The gas system is actually within the cartridges. As with every ammunition box, they're impossible to open on the first try. I specified red, but as you can see, it looks kind of more like pink. I'm not happy about that, but whatever. There is a copper band underneath here that engages with your rifling, and that helps to keep your, your bore clean, and also to put the appropriate twist or uh, spin on the projectile itself. Let's check these out in a magazine here. We use this IMI Defense Gen 1. The majority of the case is made out of aluminum. No issues loading. Doesn't feel like there's any resistance anywhere. Okay. Now these are hearing safe and they are safe to shoot inside your house or anywhere. There's no restricted range other than, you know, like you need to have eye protection and things like that. To convert your 5.56 AR-15, it's as simple as this. You pop the rear pin here. You remove your live fire bolt carrier group and you insert this into the rifle. You close the rifle, pop the pin, and you're good to go. One key feature here is that you cannot close your dust cover on any AR model, so everybody around you can see that you have a training carrier. I'm just gonna be shooting this wall with eye protection on. Okay. You can see that um, it does dent the wall and I actually didn't think it would do that. <laughs> oh, here's a projectile. It bounced off. That's what it looks like. Just a plastic projectile. I don't know where the copper band went. We'll find some of the spent cases here in a second, but I will say the recoil is less than some of my airsoft gas blowback rifles. Now, in terms of uh, getting the marking agent off, you can see that it just wipes right off. So I don't necessarily know where all those went because the shell ejection is pretty solid, but this is what they look like after they've been fired. The case itself extends. There's like a little piston system inside. When the, the small primer explosion goes off, the majority of the energy is diverted to the actual ejection. It's impossible for you to actually fire a live round. I am so confident in this, as a matter of fact, that I will demonstrate to you now. So just so you know what's going on, I'm gonna do this all on camera, and I'm not gonna make any cuts. This is the, the carrier. in there. There's the round. It is going into the magazine. Okay. Chambered. Right there. Now we will extract that case, which uh, I have to punch out because it didn't actually hold on to the, the head of the case. And there is the round. There, there, no dent. So for you firearm enthusiasts that hate airsoft, here's your solution for training. And for you airsofters that are looking for something more realistic where you can drop your mags and play in any kind of weather conditions, here's your solution. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in a future video. And uh, Force on Force, if you're watching this, this is not red.